nature, every day we observe certain processes which involve heat, cooking food, boiling water, ironing clothes, burning fuels in motor vehicles each. What is heat? Heat is a form of energy. How are we utilizing this energy? In all the above processes, heat is converted into another form of energy, example, work. According to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be converted from one form to another form. So, heat can be converted into work and vice versa. In chemistry, many chemical reactions are there which involve heat. These chemical reactions are classified into two categories, exothermic releasing heat and endothermic consuming heat reactions. Thermodynamics is a branch of science which is concerned with heat and its relation to other forms of energy. Thermodynamics form of energy. Heat engine and other devices were the historical motivation for the development of thermodynamics as a science. The study of energy and its transformation is known as thermodynamics. Thermodynamics provides a relationship between physical properties of any system once certain measurements are made. The study of thermodynamics began during the structural revolution as the relationship among heat, work, and the energy content of fuels were studied in an effort to maximize the performance of steam engines. In order to avoid confusion, Scientists discuss thermodynamic value in reference to a system and its surroundings. Everything that is not part of the system constitutes its surroundings. The system and surroundings are separated by a boundary. For example, if the system is one ball of a national container, then the boundary is simply the inner wall not the container itself. Everything outside of the boundary is considered the surroundings, which would include the container itself. The boundary must prioritize so one can clearly say whether a different part of the world is in the system or in the surroundings. If, if Marco is not able to pass across the boundary, then the system is said to be closed. Otherwise, it is open. A closed system is still exchange energy with the surroundings unless the system is an isolated one. In which case, neither macro nor energy can pass across the boundary. Energy, heat, and work. Energy. The energy of a system is its capacity to do work. Energy takes many forms. Heat and light along with chemical, nuclear, electrical, and mechanical energy are some of the common types. Any of these forms can be converted to any other forms. Energy is an inherent property of a system. Any system at a given set of conditions, example pressure and temperature, has a certain energy content. This energy content of a system can be transferred to the surroundings in the form of heat or from the surroundings into the system in the form of work. The concept of energy is invented to describe a number of processes such as energy transfer in the form of heat only, or energy transfer in the form of work only, or energy transfer in the form of work and heat. The SI unit of energy is Joule. All forms of the energy are converted to heat energy. Types of energy Energy can also be categorized as kinetic energy and potential energy. Potential energy is a stored energy which may be released under appropriate conditions, as in the nuclear reaction. Potential energy is also called as untaped energy in waiting that is yet to be deployed such as chemicals in the battery, a stretch rubber band, gravity, and etc. In chemical substances, the potential energy is the sum of all attractions, including all the covalent bonds, ionic bonds, or electrostatic attraction in the substance. Kinetic energy is the energy that matter possesses because of its motion. 
Kinetic energy is also called as ener energy of a full bore motion such as waves of heat from a burning fire, a vibrating speaker, the sound of waves emanating from it, a car in full acceleration zooming down the highway, and etc. Heat. When the energy of a system changes as a result of temperature difference between the system and its surroundings, we say that the energy has been transferred as heat. Heat is a form of energy that is transferred from one body or system to another body, system, or surroundings. Heat is always called as the lowest form of energy, since, the, since this form of energy can be easily measured by determining temperature changes caused by the release or absorption of heat in a chemical process. Heat transfer can occur when there is a temperature difference. Assume two bodies with different temperatures are brought into a contact with each other. The heat transfers from the hotter body to the colder one. This will continue until the temperature of the body is the same, which is what we call thermal equilibrium. The SI unit of a heat is joule. Work. The fundamental physical property in the thermodynamics is work. Work is the mode of transfer of energy between the system and the surroundings under the difference of temperature. Thermodynamics process have three types namely, number one, isovolumetric, number two, isothermal, and number three, adiabetic. The isovolumetric process is a process in which the volume remains constant. For example, boiling water in a pressure cooker. In a pressure cooker, the pressure increases with temperature, but the vessel is made so that the volume is constant. Meanwhile, the isothermal process in which the temperature remains constant. For example, oxygen is carried from your lungs to cells in your bloody vessels. As warm-blooded animals, our bodies do their best to maintain a constant temperature. So most of the process in our bodies are taking place under approximately isothermal conditions. Finally, an adiabetic process is a process in which no energy as a result of heat flows into or out of the system. For example, a scale cooler or dry ice evaporates. A scale cooler is about as close as we can get to an insulated system. In everyday life, no heat is exchanged so the evaporation is happening under adiabetic conditions. The first law of thermodynamics, also known as law of conversation of energy, states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. For example, turning on the light would seem to produce energy, however, it's, it is electrical energy that is converted. The first law of thermodynamics is the application of conversation of energy principle to heat. In thermodynamics process, the change in internal energy of system is equal to heat added to the system minus the work done by the system. Delta U equal to Q minus W. The first law makes use the concept of internal energy heat by the system work it used intensively in the discussion of heat engine. The standard unit for all these quantities would be the joule. Example, calculate the change in internal energy of a system if 300 joule of heat is added to it and if the system performs 200 joule of work, our formula this is delta U is equal to Q minus W, where Q is equal to W joule, the W is equal to 200 joule, so delta is Delta U is equal to 300 Joule minus 200 Joule. And the change of internal energy is equal to 100 Joule. Cut. The second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of any isolated system always increases.
isolated system spontaneously involved towards thermal equilibrium. State of maximum entropy of the system, more simply put, the entropy of the universe, the ultimate isolated system, only increases and never decreases. A simple way to think of the second law of thermodynamics is that a room, if not clean and tidied, will invariably become more messy and disorderly with time. Regardless of how careful one is to keep it clean, when the room is clean, its entropy decreases but the effort to clean it has resulted in an increase in entropy outside the room that exceeds the entropy loss. Spontaneous Process a spontaneous processes take place on its own without the external influence. Once started, a spontaneous processes proceeds on its own without the continuous external help. Spontaneous processes, the change in Gibbs free energy is negative. Example of spontaneous processes. 1. Heat flows from water body to a cold body. 2. A solid KCI spontaneously dissolves in water. Non-spontaneous process A non-spontaneous process does not take place on its own. It needs continuous external influence. Once started, a non-spontaneous process will stop when the continuous external force is withdrawn. Non-spontaneous processes the change in Gibbs free energy is positive. Example of non-spontaneous processes. 1. Flow of heat from inside of refrigerator to the room. Room is at higher temperature than refrigerator. Number 2. Boiling of water. Gibbs free energy. In a system, the chemical process proceeds with certain amount of energy with which a reaction takes place in order to attain equilibrium. This energy is referred with different names based on the scientists as affinity and gives free energy. The gives free energy is derived directly from the second law of thermodynamics, which states that any physical or chemical change must result in an increase in the entropy of the universe. Second law focuses mainly on the system done on their surroundings, unlike other thermodynamic quantities such as enthalpy, internal energy, and entropy of a system. The actual value for free energy of a system can be determined by the use of Gibbs free energy. Third law of thermodynamics. The third law of thermodynamics states that entropy of a system approaches a constant value as the temperature approaches absolute zero. The entropy of a system at absolute zero is typically zero, and in all cases is determined by only by a number of different ground states it has. Specifically, the entropy of a poor crystalline substance, perfect order, at absolute zero. Temperature is zero. This statement holds true if the perfect crystal has only one state with minimum energy. Nernst heat theorem The entropy change approaching by physical or chemical transition approaches zero as the temperature approaches zero, S approaches zero as T approaches zero, provided all the substances involved are perfect order. At T is equal to zero Kelvin. All energy of thermal motion has been quenched and in a perfect crystal all the atom or ion, ions are in a regular, uniform array. The, abs the absence of both special disorder or thermal motion suggestion that such materials all have zero entropy. This conclusion is consistent with the molecular interpretation of entropy because s is equal to zero if there is only one way or arranging the molecules the the experimental observation that turns out to be consistent with the view that entropy of a regular array 
of molecules is zero at t is equals to zero is summarized by Nernst heat theorem. As an example of an experimental evidence for this theorem, consider that entropy of the transition between arpohobric sulfur and monocly monoclinic sulfur, which can be calculated from the transition and enthalpy negative 402 J mole negative 1 and the transition temperature 369 K. Thermodynamics deals with the concepts of heat and temperature and the interconversion of heat and other forms of energy. The four laws of thermodynamics govern the behavior of these quantities and provide a quantitative description. William Thomson, in 1749, coined the term thermodynamics. The word thermodynamics is derived from two Greek words, thermis and dynamicus, which means heat and powerful respectively. First law of thermodynamics. The first law states, heat is not a conserved quantity and work is not a conserved quantity, but the sum of heat and work is a conserved quantity. The sum of heat and work is called the internal energy. Conservation of internal energy is a special case of the more general principle of conservation of energy. Conservation of energy can be derived from Noether's theorem, which is perhaps one of the most often theorems of physics. The internal energy is a state function. It values does not depend on the path taken. Another example of a state function that is closely related to the internal energy is a quantity called enthalpy. A mnemonic for remembering the first law is you cannot win. You cannot get more energy out of a system than you put in. Second law of thermodynamics. The second law states there can be no process with the sole result of absorbing heat and completely converting it to work. A mnemonic for remembering this law is you cannot break even. The second law is intimately connected to state function called entropy. Entropy is often falsely stated to be a measure of disorder, whereas the entropy is a mathematical relationship between the heat transfer diversively and the thermodynamics temperature. It can also be described from a statistical mechanical viewpoint as a quantity related to the number of ways to arrange a system with a given energy range. Third law of thermodynamics. The third law states, it is impossible to reach absolute zero in a finite number of steps. A mnemonic for this law is, you cannot leave the gain. Alternatively, a mnemonic is let's keep score. This one arises because the third law is the basis for the thermodynamics temperature scale. It is possible, however, to define a temperature scale based upon the zero law. The third law is greedy. It gets two mnemonics, whereas the zero law gets zero. In the spirit of fair play, I assign one of the third law's mnemonics to the zero law. The, the zero law of thermodynamics. The zero law states, if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. For those who have studied mathematics, this law may seem obvious. Perhaps, it should not seem so obvious when one considers all the ways that microscopic bodies can store energy. At some point, I may write a post devoted to this law. Note that this law is essential to defining a such thing as temperature. Two bodies at the same temperature are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Two bodies are in thermal equilibrium if they have reached the final temperature that they will reach if allowed to exchange heat with one another. At such point, no net heat is exchanged. In many ways, the zero law depends on an understanding of the other laws. One could use the mnemonics, let's keep score, for the zero law, but the phrase is usually used for the third law. Mnemonics, zero law, let's keep score. First law, you cannot win. Second law, you cannot break even. And third law, you cannot leave the game.